the main issue here is that what is a breadbasket of the world, a country that produces enough food to feed 400 million people around the world, has now become a major humanitarian aid recipient. Those uh, imports are threatened or the prices go up, they have to seek other sources, but that causes a global food price crisis. How can the blocked ports affect our lives here in Europe? What should we expect? We're talking about global destabilization. But right now, the world is radically different. If you just, just think back to 2008, there was, no, uh, there was no war in Syria, there was no war in Yemen, there was no war in Ethiopia, there was no COVID. Climate change was talked about as something serious coming down the pipe, but it was not sort of directly affecting us. Or, so the world is, is connected and there are global consequences to nations being destabilized, to political and social unrest. So you may think your, your hypothetical person in Europe says, well, it doesn't really matter to me at the moment. I don't really care about that. Well, we're connected. So at some point, uh, it, it, it will matter. And we've seen the price increases now. But I mean, think of the same thing. You, you said um, that, you know, the prices have gone up in Greece and I'm uh, speaking to you from Rome and the prices are, are, are up here. And, and it's, you know, it, it's just, it's a fact of life. Food prices are higher at the moment. Inflation is higher. Energy prices are higher. So what can be done eventually to avoid all this? We need a, an immediate reopening of the ports. I mean, 98% of the grain exports that were going out uh, from Ukraine and from Russia were going through the Black Sea. So if those ports are closed, yes, there are alternative methods, but not at the scale that is needed to keep prices from skyrocketing around the world.